Okay, Kevin says, uh, do you have a way of finding out what institutional investors do in the markets? Um, there are a couple of websites that actually shows what positions they have and what analysis uh, they are doing and which markets they are looking at to follow and things like things like that. You can actually find the websites, but I don't refer to them when I take trades. I don't really care what they are doing because simply I follow the directions. Whenever there's a directions I follow, when it stops, I fix profit, I quit, exit, and leave chart. So once I applied this mindset, it became peace to trade. Before I was also um, curious on how they were, how the big boys are doing in the markets, because you know it said that these big boys manipulate the markets and they take out the stop losses and afterwards the market goes towards the same direction after these stop loss hunts i was also thinking that and i think it's true i think it's true that it happens but um if you have a good risk management you can avoid it i mean you may lose by these fake outs by these manipulations but if you keep these losses small and if you keep the wins bigger than the losses, then it's manageable. It's my mindset. So after I master the risk management part with along with the psychology like that, um, I don't really refer to these uh, websites on what these big boys are doing. Uh, also, I used to refer to these uh, market orders. Like, uh, how many traders are putting the buy and sell in one broker, or how many traders are putting stop losses up above or below the resistances? Um, there are some websites or some services that shows kind of the heat map on the right side, like uh, like diagram on the right side. When you when you check the charts, you see some um, you know diagram on the right side like this. Maybe you've seen this before. Usually. This part becomes like big like this. And this part also becomes big like this. And then this part becomes big and this part also becomes big. Usually you, you, will, you saw this uh, diagram maybe. You've seen this before. And I used to use this because... <clears throat> I'm sorry. I used to use this because it captures the nice resistance and support. I thought this is uh, useful to use. But uh, basically, these spikes shows the resistance and supports in the market. When you draw the lines, resistance, it matches with this, you know, big uh, pending orders or the stop loss orders. So, um, yeah, I don't really use these tools again anymore. <clears throat> but simply, I trade by the Ichimoku confirmations and with my own strategy which is Ichimoku Kinko Hyo in multiple time frames and get the entry in the five minute and keep the stop losses reasonable reasonably small in between 20 to 40 pips in range and once the market goes towards my direction I move it to break even at the right timing and then I leave because after I set the break-even line, technically I don't lose. So that will be either break-even or break-even win game, which I play, and I will I can I can have peace in my mind to leave chart for a couple of hours next, and then I come back to the chart, and uh, if I found the market takes the break-even, that's fine. I look for another opportunity simply. But if the market goes towards my direction still, I follow and try the profits. So after I have this mindset with my strategy, I don't really follow, I don't really keep up with what these uh, institutional investors are doing or what these heat maps and market order, orders are doing afterwards. 
And I think uh, and there is a way to avoid these fake outs. I mean, to avoid the fake outs, to avoid these manipulations, uh, you have to have the good risk management. Again, that means you have to have small losses and big wins. Because the market may reverse backwards. For me also, uh, um, I have some drawdowns and losses. But because I keep these losses small, I can make profits in the long run. And you, if you can apply the same rules in this, in this manner, I'm sure you can be successful in the long run. And you start not to care about these um, big institutions anymore. I think this is at least my way of uh, not pay attention to these, uh, you know, institutions anymore. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And in last word, I would like to add this one before ending the video today. And that is improve step by step every day and never try to be successful tomorrow. Because uh, oftentimes I see some traders comes to the Forex market or in other markets and they try to be successful as soon as possible and that motivation is okay but uh, if you rush to make profits if you rush to achieve some goal then uh, you may fail very quickly because success only comes based on this continuation of the step-by-step -step effort step-by-step -step improvement every day so Success does not relate to how much you know about the trades, how much you know about the indicators or the markets. The success only comes from this improvement continuously, step by step. So, even when you're losing, then look back your trades and look for the areas you can improve your trades. And even if it's successful also, look back your own successful trades and try to find an area to improve your trades. Maybe your profit might be a bit too early or your break-even timing might be a too, bit too early too or your stop loss was a bit too tight also. So in both ways, whether it's a losing trace or winning trace, uh, please look back your own trace because that's the only way you can success in the long term. So thank you for watching until the end. If you liked it, please press the like button and I will see you on the next one. So until then, please stay healthy and stay safe and stay gold. Bye for now. Matane. Thank you.